ladies and gentlemen the political advisors of the dp regarding gashagwa himself are misleading they are misadvising regarding gashagwa to compete against his boss president william samwe ruto ahead of the 2027 general elections and that is exactly why the political fallout between the dp regarding gashagwa and william ruto continues to escalate each and every single day because there is no way that you can compete against your boss a good example during regadi gashagwa's live interview at inoro tv regadi gashagwa delivered a strong message to president william ruto and this is exactly what regadi gashagwa told william ruto directly i have been talking and continue to talk to uhuru kenyatta and his family and we have reconciled our differences i was wrong and it will never happen again going forward going forward we shall defend the kenyatta family from those who wish to be against them what regadi gashagwa is telling william ruto in this message is that the same way william ruto reconciled with raila amolo odinga who was his political enemy and decided to bring in raila odinga to be part of the government is the same way that regadi gashagwa has also reconciled with uhuru mwege kenyatta and going forward the same way william ruto will be working closely with raila amolo odinga in government is the same way regadi gashagwa will work with the former head of state uhuru mwege kenyatta hii vita yote mnaona ati nikiambiwa ninaongoza ukabila ni kwa sababu ya kusema hata uhuru kenyata ni mtoto wetu. Nimefanya makosa? Na makosa uhuru alikuwa amefanya tu ni moja. Barabara alijenga, maji alifanya, alileta stima, alikuwa amefanya tu makosa moja. Ya kutuletea Raila, si ndio? Lakini siku rais amesema sisi tukakataa Raila tukaenda kwa William Ruto. Saa ile rais wetu William Ruto amesema Raila ni mtu mzuri kutakuwa na haja gani sisi kuchukia uhuru Kenyatta? Iko haja? Iko haja? Watu wangapi wanasema ni ungana na uhuru Kenyatta tuunganishe watu wetu? So let me ask you based on these issues these differences between Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa is there any possibility of Rigathi Gashagwa to still work with William Ruto in 2027 general elections according to me it is not possible but away from that the dp regadi gashagwa is about to make another very very big political mistake a very dangerous political mistake and if regadi gashagwa is not very careful with his political advisers who are misleading him regadi gashagwa will end up being in the opposition ahead of the 2027 general elections mistake number 1 that regadi gashagwa is committing is to exit the kenya kwanza alliance stroke the uda party and already Rigadi Gashagwa is complaining. Rigadi Gashagwa is not happy at all in the Kenya Kwanza Alliance Stroke UDA party. Rigadi Gashagwa is talking about his frustrations. 
how he is being isolated and being intimidated by the DCI. Rigathi Gashagwa issued a warning to the DCI boss. This is the message from Rigathi Gashagwa. I want to tell the DCI and Nodin Haji to be very, very careful. Because what is happening now is similar to that hap uh, what happened in the previous government using the intelligence agencies for policies and to intimidate others right now anyone who calls me has their calls being recorded and anyone who cl comes close to me is asked what they were coming for yet i am the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And of course, you have heard about Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment motion. And also there is a plan to officially kick out Rigadi Gashagwa as the UDA deputy party leader. Then you will be asking yourself, why all of a sudden all these issues are against Riyadi Kashawa. Why now? Why not in the past? What really happened? It is because of the political differences between Riyadi and his boss. Riyadi Kashawa knows very well what exactly he is doing. Riyadi Kashawa understands that he is just buying time in Kenya Kwanza stroke UDA party. Rigadi Gashagwa will exit UDA stroke Kenya Kwanza and to join the former head of state Uhuru Muge Kenyatta and Kalonzo Musyoka ahead of the 2027 general elections. Let me prove this to you. When Rigadi Gashagwa was in that particular live interview at Inoro TV, Rigadi Gashagwa finally explained very well the real reason as to why William Ruto appointed him to be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya in the previous 2022 general elections. According to Rigadi Gashagwa, he had a deal with William Ruto and they agreed on only two things in that particular deal. The deal between Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa has already expired. Meaning in 2027, for Rigadi Gashagwa to still work with William Ruto, they will have to make another deal. This is what Rigadi Gashagwa said. When William Ruto selected me for the DP position, we agreed on two conditions. One was to help him in running the government and the other was for me to organize things in Mount Kenya region. William Ruto gave me the DP position because he wanted the Mount Kenya region votes. That is the truth. If he did not want the Mount Kenya votes, he would have given the DP seat to someone else. Rigadi Gashagwa means that William Ruto depended so much on the Mount Kenya region votes in the previous elections. That is the truth. What about now? Do you think that in 2027, William Ruto will still depend on the Mount Kenya region votes so much the way he did in the previous 2022 general elections? Of course not. Things have changed. Now that Ruto will not be depending too much on the Mount Kenya region votes, he will have to appoint somebody else to be his running mate. Time will tell. 
the second mistake that Riyadi Ashagwa is committing is to join the Waipa party leader Kalonzo Musyoka and also to be the running mate of Riyadi I mean of Kalonzo Musyoka in 2027 general elections through a plan well organized by the former head of state Uhuru Mwekenyata just like what i have been telling you in this channel that uhuru mwege kenyatta will back kalonzo musyoka's presidential bid in the 2027 general elections and he wants somebody from the mount kenya region to be the deputy president of kalonzo musyoka i don't have any problem with regadi gashagwa deputizing Kalonzo Musyoka in 2027. But my biggest question is, do you think that that ticket between Kalonzo and Riyadi Gashagwa will make it to the presidency in 2027? Do you think that they will win? Because I don't see any possibility of Kalonzo Musyoka defeating President William Ruto in 2027 general elections. That is not possible. So basically, if Rigadi Gashago will agree to work with Kalonzo, that is a sure bet that Rigadi will be in the opposition. And I came across that statement from the media. The media had already announced about Rigadi Gashago having several secret political meetings with Kalonzo Musyoka and planning to work together in the 2027 general elections. In my findings, the statement was very true. Like for instance, this newspaper from Taifa Leo had this ad line which says, Ndoa ya Kalonzo na Rigiji ya Sukwa meaning we should expect a political alliance crafted by Kalonzo and Rigadi Gashagwa ahead of the 2027 general elections. It will be very, very soon. And according to the nation, it says that why Rigadi Gashagwa's Mount Kenya region allies are courting Kalonzo Musyoka and Latembea. Meaning, already Rigadi Gashagwa's allies have engaged, they are officially engaging with Kalonzo Musyoka and George Natembea to work together ahead of the 2027 general elections. Let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. The question is, do you think that Rigadi Gashagwa is making the right choices? Because according to me, Rigiji should have just remained loyal to William Ruto because he had nothing to lose. If Rigadi Gashagwa had remained loyal to William Ruto, there's no way Ruto will not accept him to be his running mate in 2027. But Rigadi Gashagwa is competing with William Ruto. That is the problem. I don't know what you think. I would really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates like the one that I'm currently doing here. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Remember, my name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good day ahead. Thank you.